So Steven Espinosa just shoots down the whole notion pretty much that Terrence Crawford gets to pick the weight. So we've been bamboozled the whole time. Let's talk about it. So here we are now at this uh, juncture of uh, the saga of weight gate, right? Are we going to fight at 147, 154? Oh, he had to notify me in writing. I had to notify him in writing. None of us did that. So now it has to happen at 147 by default. Eh, wrong. And it makes sense. It makes sense. You know, because imagine if this fight would have even been com- like super competitive, right? And then we're back at this point. And Crawford saying, I don't want to fight him unless it's 147. And then they had a mega money fight on their hands. You know, can't leave it up to the fighter. You know, at that point, I'm sure they have put in protections. It sounds like they did put in protections. I mean, we still don't know exactly what the protections say, but it seems by because of Espinosa, what he's saying, it's not that easy. And playing up and down, just to make it sure you can find his uh, his interview online, Espinosa says, well, no, it's, it's not like that. You can't basically say, I will fight anybody else at 154 except you can't do that he doesn't get to pick the weight which makes sense also because we haven't really heard anything from Ter- uh, from Errol Spence in regards to debunking it like he's just been like all right I'm gonna let you talk your talk and I'm gonna just go ahead and just do what I do on this side and eventually the truth will come to light and it did so here we are now finding out that basically nah it's not up to Terrence Crawford now, there might be a prohibition there, like, who gets what money and a split. There's probably some sort of monetary decline for one of the parties if it's at 154 rather than 147. But nonetheless, that's not the hurdle. Right? That's not the hurdle. So, there we go. I mean, it's clear as day. So, now, we just have to see. Actually, what if it happens at 147, it's because maybe there's bigger money. Promised. If it happens at 154, there's less money. Probably. Because there's no belts, right? That's probably what it is. I suspect Errol will push 154 and it'll probably happen at 154. No belts, less money. Errol still loses, in my opinion. But I think we'll see a much more competitive fight that might lead like in the, to a wilder situation where we might see a trilogy just based on losses. Which, thank God we got the third trilogy, uh, uh, third fight in the trilogy of uh, Fury Wilder. Because, man, no oh man, that was a war and a half. So, anyway, put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Is, is this what it is? Is, there, is it, is it going to happen at 154, 147? Is, you know, does Terrence Crawford, in your opinion, have the right to say what way it goes? Espinosa seems to say no, and he has a copy of the contract. Let me know. Put your comments below and see you in the next one.